I'd like now I'd like to show you how to add geometry using two basic tools. These are my favorite tools and I think you can really do you can add as much geometry as you'd like using only these tools. The first tool is called the extrude tool. You can find it in two places. First of all, in your polygon shelf right here, this is the extrude tool. Or second of all, in your polygon menu system under edit mesh and extrude. Now to use the tool, you can see I got an error here. To use the tool, I need to go to component mode. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to face mode, and then I'm going to go back, use the extrude tool, and you can see I'm easily adding geometry. Then I can scale or move or rotate the geometry as I'd like. Then go back and select another face and extrude again. This time I'm going to use a shortcut called G. Since I use extrude last and I hit G, it's going to let me extrude again. I can just use my standard manipulation tools. Change my modes. For example, I could go to edge mode. And once I think I'm done with that, I can extrude again. So let me this time select two faces, one on this side, shift select one on this other side, and hit G because it was my previous process or it's the last thing I did. I can repeat extrude again and then scale and further manipulate the geometry. Now extruding, I can also use extrude to insert geometry like this. I'll hit G and extrude again and I'll just scale down this geometry and extrude could be used to go outside to do outside extrusions as well as internal extrusions just like that the other tool I want to show you for adding geometry I find very very useful and that's insert edge loop tool I find that under edit mesh and insert edge loop and to use the insert edge loop tool I select simply click one time on an edge and you can see as I'm holding the button still I can move this edge anywhere I'd like and once I release it it becomes a permanent edge loop which I can then manipulate and scale for example I could right click this and go to edge mode and shift select these edges and scale and I can hit this time Another shortcut is Y. Y repeats the previous tool. So if I hit Y, it'll go back into insert edge loop mode. Select another loop. Hit R. I can scale manipulate. What's nice and convenient is I can go between all my standard tools hitting Q, W, E, or R, or I can go back to extruding. I'll go to face mode again. I'll hit G. Oh, I made a different tool, so let me just start over. I'll go to face mode again, and I will go to edit mesh extrude. And I can extrude an object. Or I can hit Y. and insert my edge loop. Then my last process was extrude, so I can go back to extrude again. I'll go to face mode, hit G, and I could toggle between hitting Y and hitting G. For extruding and inserting edge loops, and at the same time, manipulating my other geometry with my standard tools. So again, that's 
extrude, which can be found here, or under Edit Mesh, Extrude. Remember to hit G after it will repeat Extrude again. Or I can go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop. And once I've done that, I can insert an edge loop anywhere along here. And then I can hit Y to repeat that particular tool. Something else you want to know, it's real nice to be able to manipulate edge loops anytime. So to do that, I'll go to edge mode and I'll just simply double click an edge. I double click an edge and it then highlights the entire loop, which is really great if I want to go back and remodel something.